I'm Sequoia with Project Tree Collard, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Merit Tree Collards. So this whole green patch of these leafy things, these are a perennial tree collard that I named Merit Tree Collard. I got a piece of it from Merit College in Oakland, which has an amazing horticulture department where I studied landscape design and construction. And they, I also studied permaculture there and they have a lot of tree collards and this it was a seedling on a hillside growing with no um, supplemental water which here in California means that it wasn't getting any water at all for six months of the year and I thought wow this is an amazing survivor plant and look at these huge leaves pretty nice I'll tell you that it's obviously a robust green variety of a tree collard. It tolerates temperatures, still researching, but it, it seems to go at, to at least um, 28 degrees for quite a few days um, where I'm farming right now in Grass Valley, which is not here. Um, it's fine in the snow. It's doing well in Florida, and I haven't heard back from Hawaii. <laughs> but it's doing really well in a lot of climates. Um, it's quite robust when you purchase a little plant or get some cuttings. Um, probably within a year, you could have one this size. It really depends on your soil, um, the quality of your soil and the drainage and your climate. So here in Berkeley, I'm in a very temperate climate and these just thrive here. So. I wanted to show you this whole patch of the tree collard. It does form a very thick stalk. It can get very tall. And um, I guess this one's over six feet because I'm five, six. Um, you can prune it though. If I wanted to cut the top off with my saw, I could. And I could cut all the leaves off and stick that cutting into potting soil and get a whole new, beautiful, robust plant from that but most of the cuttings are not so thick. They're more normal sized. Merit tree collards in most cases would pr prefer to be planted in full sun. I have planted them in places that they get about six hours of sun. Here it's kind of in between um, tree canopies of Fuyu persimmon trees, and it seems to do quite well getting about six, seven hours of sun here but I have grown it in shadier locations and it's done okay. I do find that the cuttings of the Merit tree collard, now that I've moved to a more difficult climate, are a little harder to take root. And I'm not exactly sure why, but they have a tendency to rot more. So I'm experimenting with propagating them in horticultural sand or sand without uh, salt that's been washed. And it seems so far to be more successful but I just wanted to show you how amazing these plants are. Um, the leaves can be up to two feet long, especially on these larger, um, more robust areas. There's plenty of leaves that are smaller. Um, it tends not to get a ton of pest problems. Most people have the biggest problem with the cabbage moth, the white butterflies that fly around and their green caterpillars are very hard to see um, I advocate picking them off um, and not using BT, which can kill other caterpillars that are beneficial, but um, some people may need to do that in their climate. Merit tree collards do bloom in your garden in the spring. It, here it's about March. Um, in more extreme climates, it might be a little bit later. And it reseeds everywhere. So these seeds are very, very viable. And I've been told by customers in the East Coast that some of their seedlings that they grew from my seeds on my merit plants survived the winter in places like Connecticut, New England. And so it's quite amazing. If you grow plants from seed, then they're not going to be identical to these, but they're going to have similar traits and they may become more adapted to your specific climate, which is really wonderful. Here we have another merit tree collard. This is the oldest one in my garden, this upper little lump there. 
comes to probably about eight feet. But this is the mama, one of the mama tree collards. I've actually had them longer and taken them out in different areas at the time. But this, look at that trunk. It's probably about six inches and it's really tree-like. So this is part of why it's called a tree collard. <laughs> kind of overtaken this little dwarf avocado tree I have here so I'm always needing to cut the merit tree colored back from the avocado so it has some chance to make some avocados. So when it's springtime and you see flower buds emerge you can go ahead and let them flower or even set seed and collect the seed or not but you could also harvest them as like little tiny broccolis and you can stir fry them and cook those and the flowering period isn't super long the first year they may not bloom but the second or third year they may um, put out a fair amount of blooms for a few months and then i cut the stalks off depending on whether i'm saving the seeds or not and they return to their vegetative state most tree collards including merit taste best in the cooler months they're edible all year they're there the leaves are there for the picking all year I find they tend to get more aphids and perhaps white fly in the summer but other than that you know I just wash them off and go ahead and use some in my cooking um, merit tree collard is a really great choice if you want a green tree collard it's fun how um, thick the stalks get unlike jolly green tree collard the stalks can be like this thick and you saw that six foot tall section it's just quite catching um, and it seems to do well in the snow and high winds and winter conditions. I have it growing up in my farm in Grass Valley, California, where we get 115 at the hottest in the summer. And uh, we'll see how cold it really can be in the winter. But so far we've had some 28 degrees a few times and a lot of snow and they've done just fine through all of that. So thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. It encourages me to make more videos on all things tree collard and we have our website projecttreecollard.org where we sell plants, cuttings, and seeds of tree collards and put out as much content and information as possible. Okay.